My name is Jonathan Grimes. I live in Mont Eagle, Tennessee. I ran for miles. I exercised all the time. It was part of me. Losing that ability destroyed me mentally. But the Mountain Goat Trail lets me be more worry-free. I don't have to constantly look in my mirror or look ahead all the time and dodge cars or hope they're dodging me. Getting to leave my wheelchair, that's a very freeing thing. It helps you deal with the injury. It helps you keep your sanity. Usually it's a 30-mile ride, and I'm out there for two or three hours. You don't have to walk the entire length of the trail to stay active and keep yourself in a better lifestyle. And you don't have to do it in a hurry. You don't even have to ride a bike in a hurry. You don't have to do it over great distance. Just get out and do it. My name is Seth Lane. I am a fifth grade teacher at Tracy Elementary. I live here in Tracy City, was born and raised in Palmer, Tennessee. Met a beautiful girl in high school, my junior year, and the rest is history. Here we are. We have a nine-year-old daughter, a six-year-old son, a two-year-old daughter. And, uh, we just love our life. We always want to get the kids outside to be active as we possibly can. Sometimes we go to the mountain goat trail, it's just it's so quick and so easy, and now with the new playground, it's just amazing, it's right there. Everyone's enjoying it, and it's, it's really just a beautiful thing. What more could you want than just to be out in God's creation with your family, enjoy the, the beautiful fall breeze like we enjoyed today? You know, there's nothing better than that. The mountain goat trail just is icing on the cake. My name is Grady Wells. In 2011, I really got into trail and ultra running. I'm also a biologist in my professional life, so you know, being able to incorporate the fun aspects of biology and nature with running really dovetails to it. Just this great experience that allows me to really pursue these longer distances. This whole ecoregion is extremely diverse for plants and animals. The Malgo Trail, it's really a well-kept secret up here in a way. It allows you to safely connect to all the various trail networks that we have up here. I can't wait till it's completely done and I want to be the first one, hopefully, um, to be out there and run the entire distance of the Mountain Goat Trail. My name is Sarah Cordell and I'm a senior at Sewanee. I have always kind of been drawn to the elderly. My name is John Gass Bratton. We moved to Sewanee in 1938 when I was eight years old. John doesn't have children or a spouse and he's alone. When you're older and you start to lose your sense of autonomy, you don't get those interactions, you don't get the feeling that you can rely on someone. So it's really important for them to know that there's someone in this world that cares about them. Folks at Home takes people on pedicab rides. It's just a very pleasant, comfortable ride and it gets me out of this house. The Mountain Goat Trail is important because it connects multiple communities. It's just a good way to encourage exercise or getting out. It's a beautiful place to walk or to run. It's been good for me.